Hello everyone, this is uh, Shed Reyes from Sky 2024 in Long Beach. I'm really privileged to be with uh, Drew and Eric to talk about uh, peripheral artery disease campaign as well as awareness and what PAD done, what work done at Sky for the PAD. Thanks for being with us. So with you, Eric, first. Uh, PAD campaign has been launched a few months ago, a big campaign at Sky. Tell us about the idea and uh, what's the reason for it. Yeah. So we had a pretty contentious 2023 in the peripheral vascular space. You know, I think between a number of uh, really poor press articles that were put out about peripheral vascular care in the U.S. Um, scared a lot of patients away from the hospitals and clinicians. We've had a lot of issues with insurance companies denying procedures which we're used to offering our patients without regulation. And so, you know, I think everyone was looking for a home to try to uh, improve the communication to our patients, rebuild some uh, faith with the relationship with our doctors, um, and also have something to represent us as clinicians when we felt like we were being uh, really missed, the, the public was being misinformed about what we do. And so, you know, this uh, whole alliance came out of a lot of us, uh, not just at the within the Sky Society, but also other societies, including the Society for Interventional Radiology, Society for Vascular Surgery, to really come together to form an alliance to help campaign against better understanding of the risks and outcomes of peripheral vascular disease and then the needs for treatment. Absolutely. So this is uh, a campaign just generated based on what all the league work done at the society as well as the PAD council at Sky. That's so right. Drew, tell us about uh, how, what work has been done so yeah, far. Yeah, so the vascular disease council at Sky has been very active and, and as Eric mentioned, a lot of it kind of propelled from a lot of negative press and misunderstandings of what's going on. The fact is that there are large socioeconomic and demographic racial issues that are prevalent throughout the disease of peripheral arterial disease. And there is a ridiculously high amputation rate. It's four to five times higher in African Americans than in Caucasians, uh, four times higher in Hispanics. And we need to address this. And if there's one thing everybody can agree upon is that there's, it's PAD is underdiagnosed, it's underappreciated, and it's undertreated. So we really needed to raise the awareness at the grassroots level and go out and try to educate the patient populations that are most at risk. And so the PAD, Pulse on PAD campaign is really targeted at major areas and states that have highest amputation rates. And so really we're trying to get at the grassroots, get out there akin to what was done in the barbershop study and really try to figure out how can we best educate people so people don't sit at home with the black toe or the non-healing ulcer. And then by the time they get in, there's sepsis, there's osteomyelitis, and they have to come up with an amputation. So it's really kind of getting out there at the grassroots as a multidisciplinary, multi-societal team. Critical limb threatening ischemia has to be treated in a multidisciplinary approach. This is a great opportunity and has been to work SKY, SIR, SVS, SVM, uh, Association for Black Cardiologists, everybody together, everyone together to figure out how can we address this under underdiagnosed, underappreciated, and undertreated disease that affects a huge proportion of our population. Eric, do you want to talk about some of the engagement that happened on the campaign? Yeah, so the unique part about the campaign was really the multifaceted approach of the content. So there was a real media push, so there's been a number of articles published in lay press, uh, interviews done on podcasts, um, even some uh, really well-known you know, opinion leaders uh, outside of the medical space um, having conversations about peripheral heart disease, which is so monumental. And then the other side of it was, again, patient education. So building out really content for the layman, for patients who don't have the healthcare uh, you know, background and understanding what does cramping in the leg mean? What is the risk if you do have diabetes or you smoke tobacco? And, and so that was a big part of this as well. And it has all a home on our website um, that has made it really accessible to see all of this different content um, and get access to all this different multimedia uh, attention that's come out of the, the alliance. Congratulations for a great success. I, again, the, as you said, the NIDAS was kind of maybe started negative, but flipped into a big campaign Absolutely. and a very positive and also bottom line helping patients understand the disease and want to seek help. Absolutely. Thank you so much for your hard work and for the campaign. Please watch these videos and others on the Sky TV. This is Shadi Reyes from Scientific Session in Long Beach, Sky 2024. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.